Okay, Grandma, now mm. we're... Okay, Grandma, now we're in lesson two. So, um, just a few basic things about what music looks like on page um, that called the staff and the clef. The staff is what music is written on. Those are the lines and spaces. Five lines, four spaces. You don't have to remember that right now. But um, just so you know that the staff is, is where mu music is written on. And this is a clef. And that's a clef. That's the right hand clef or called the G clef. That tells you to use your right, right hand. hand. Yes. And note, some people don't know this, but there is there are specific names for parts of the note. The round part, the circle, is the note head. It, it matches it. <laughs> and the little line is a stem, just like on a flower. Oh. So, no, note head with a stem. Right. Note head and stem. And note heads will come black or white, or some of them will come without a stem, and you will learn that as we go. Okay. Okay, when you're looking at notes on the staff, sometimes they're written inside the space and between the lines, or on the line where the line goes right through it. Oh. And um, if anyone's following along on the video, um, they can look on their page called Notes on the Staff and they'll see what we're talking about. Okay, our first real note. Okay, we were looking at just the letter C to play C. This is what middle C really looks like. It's, it's hanging below the staff. This tells you your right hand. So let's go ahead and play the middle C with, just like you have been. Right hand. Oh, right hand. Yes. Right. So this is your right hand clef or your G clef. And that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to play a song. And every time you see the middle C, you'll, you'll play C. Instead of having a letter, oh, okay. you'll have the note. And all the numbers are the same. You just match it up with your finger. First start with C. Oh, we start with C. Right. And try not to look at your fingers. I know, but I have to get started here. Yeah, to get started, you're right. Good. Next line. Good. Okay, now I want to ask you a question. When you're playing your songs, you'll notice that there is, right now you don't have rhythm. No. You're just, you're just playing as fast or as slow, as much time in between as you want to. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fix that. Oh, yeah. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to learn rhythm. Oh. And rhythm is, is how long you're supposed to hold a note down before you let go and go to the next note. Oh. That's what creates rhythm. Okay, so I've come up with a way to help keep the rhythm um, even by saying tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Right, tick tock, tick tock. That tick, keeps a nice tick, tick, rhythm tick, so you don't, so you have it evenly spaced. Tick tock, tick tock. So this tick tock song, every time you play something, you're going to say tick-tock with it. Tick-tock is going to represent one beat. And it says up here, do not count in your head, count out loud. Hmm. So let's try. I'll have you try, and then I'll show you how it'll sound when it's smooth. Well, I'm playing with the right hand. Yes, mm -hmm. right hand. Right. All this right hand. Everything is right. Right. This week will still be left right hand. Now, what did you tell me this is? C. This, this symbol that, there? That's, middle, that's C. Middle okay. C. Okay. Okay. Tick. Tick. Don't forget to say oh, tick tock. Tick -tock. Okay. Tick -tock. I'll say it with you. Tick, tick tock. Tick -tock. Tick -tock. Say tick tock for just one note. Oh. Like this. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh, tick tock goes with one note. Right. Both of them. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. So. So you're going to be playing slower. Yeah. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick -tock. Second line. Um, try not to pause. Try to keep going. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick -tock. Yeah. 
Yeah. Third I'll line. Go for the next one. Mm -hmm. one two, two. Hold the four down until you say completely say tick tock. Oh. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Last line. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. See now you're more evenly spaced. Uh -huh. Your time in between is evenly spaced. One more time, Grandma, and that'll be the end of today's lesson. We'll I'll have you practice saying tick tock with these the rest with those of two pages. with these two pages. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Right. Good job. And now, what you're going to watch out for is you're not going to tr you're going to try not to pause in between your TikToks. Oh, It'll be I'm even. ready to go right to the next one. Exactly. Yeah. And don't speed up your TikToks. Don't oh. say, okay, you have a rhythm of tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock. You don't want to go tick tick. Right, you don't want to say tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick -tock. You don't want to. You don't want to. Oh, we'll practice next week on that. Okay, Grandma. Tick. I think you did good today. Okay. Good job. Let's so you learned what middle C looks like, and you and you've learned how to. Middle C is down here. No, middle C is. Oh no, that's the one. I know where it is. I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. You you already know where middle yeah. C is. Now you know what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. Right. Okay. Right. So you can cre you're creating rhythm with TikTok. You know what middle C looks like on paper, and I gave you an, a little assignment for your left hand. Mm -hmm. We'll go over that again. Oh yeah, I'll have to know what I did do again with my left. But all this is in the right hand. Right. So that will come easy to practice. Yes. Because I'm used to using this hand, where mm -hmm. I'm not with this hand. Right. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You did good. Okay. You're next, Jay. <laughs> <laughs>